What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're gonna to be talking about a menu on your Galaxy phone, which is a little bit hidden. You've probably never stumbled across it before. And that is the quick settings accessibility menu that you can enable with a key button press. Now, accessibility is for people who sometimes who have vision or hearing issues, but there are a lot of settings in there that you might want, even if you don't have any of those issues or need those enhancements. We're gonna talk about that today. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys, if you haven't yet, make sure you check out our website, sammyguru.com. We're covering the latest Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews. We got a full writing staff over there now, covering 10 to 15 articles a day on Samsung Mobile. If you're in the US, you can also tap our banner at the top here in orange. You can sign up for our mystery box program, get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop, phone stand, other randomly inserted goodies when you sign up and purchase a Galaxy S25 device using our affiliate link to Samsung's website on launch day. Put in your email, your phone number, or both right here at the bottom. Go ahead and RSVP and you'll be good to go. We cover all the shipping costs. No extra cost to you to get these awesome accessories. So let's talk about this. If you wanna go into settings, you can find the accessibility menu just by scrolling down a bit, to scroll down a bit, right below general management, you'll see it right here. Tap on accessibility and in here, you've got a lot of various things you can do in accessibility. Today, particularly wanna focus on this menu called advanced settings. Now advanced settings has a bunch of accessibility shortcut options at the top, which can allow you to enable various functions of the accessibility menu. So the one I wanna talk about first is the side and volume up and volume up, volume uh, down buttons. This allows you to press a combination of side and volume up, which is the power button and the volume up, or volume up, volume down. Now, I prefer the volume up, volume down, just because that's a key combination that I don't use otherwise for other things. Of course, you know, you also have your button combination that's for screenshots. It's just easier to remember the two volume buttons together and not accidentally, you know, do a combination that does something else like a screenshot. So here are the options you have that you can enable, and you can have as many of these as you want, uh, all the way up to 21. I actually, it depends on what you have installed. If you have other options installed, I think there can be as many as 22 or 23 in here, but you've got a bunch of different, it depends on what you have enabled, like in your quick settings as well. Uh, let's just look at them individually though. You've got accessibility, which is goes to the accessibility settings, talk back, which of course, again, is another accessibility setting that will kind of tell you what's on your screen, magnifier, magnification, color inversion, high contrast fonts, Relumino outline, color correction, color filter, extra dim, speak keyboard input allowed, which could be useful if you wanna you know, make sure you're typing the right thing that sounds good, amplify ambient sound, mute all sounds, sound notifications, live transcribes, universal switch, assistant menu, voice access, and interaction control, and then link to windows, and screen curtain. Now I've talked about screen curtain before on the channel. What screen curtain does is screen curtain basically allows you to have some extra privacy settings on your device. If you're worried about someone, you know, looking at what you're doing, uh, it's also a quick setting toggle as well. Now you do need to allow full control of your phone because as soon as you do this action, it will execute it if you only have one enabled. So I'd have to hit allow and then if I just choose screen curtain, for instance, okay, so now I go back and enter an app like X and then I hold down the volume up down for three seconds. It's gonna go ahead and say, use volume buttons for accessibility, turn screen curtain on or off. You can select a different function from here, say use. And now you can see that if I go back and do this for three seconds, it's going to turn screen curtain on, which again, I have a full video on this feature. Um, basically makes it so that it shows you what app is running. You can double tap or press the power button to go back to that particular app. Uh, it just kind of basically shuts off your screen and shows you what app is running there uh, in this particular mode. That's screen curtain, which is also a quick setting. Now, if you want though, you can have more than one of these. So if you go back in here, uh, a couple that I like are mute all sounds, sound notifications, which again, we've talked about this before as well. It tells you actually which number they are to, one, two, and three. Uh, if you use a Windows PC like I do with my Galaxy phone, my Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360, you can use link to Windows in here as well. And Live Transcribe is another good one. So if you have all of these, then it won't automatically uh, execute the function when you go ahead and hit the uh, buttons. So if you go ahead and hold them down now for three seconds, 
you'll see that it's gonna pop up this menu. And so now I've got screen curtain, mute all sounds, sound notification, link to windows, live transcribe. So if I tap on this, now it's gonna mute all sounds on. So one way you could theoretically use this, which I've seen other people suggest, is that if you just want a mute button on your phone, like the Galaxy phones don't have a mute switch like some other smartphones do and some people like that, you could just turn all of these off except mute all sounds. And then when you do the two button press combo, you're going to then go ahead and mute all those sounds. So now if I just hold the buttons down for three seconds, now it's going to either turn mute all sounds off because they were on previously, or if I hold it down again, and now mute all sounds are on again. So this is a very useful feature, um, the accessibility menu. You can access this not only through that combo, but also using uh, the side and volume up buttons and also the accessibility button or gesture. You can select a particular action to map to a gesture. So if you wanted to mute all sounds by doing a gesture, you could swipe up with two fingers uh, from the bottom of the screen, or you could have a floating uh, button over here that will then do this, you know, you have it floating there and you can do it anytime you want. I personally prefer the swipe gesture if I'm gonna use the gestures, but the button combo placement is actually the one that I use more often. Now, obviously you probably don't wanna have both of these map to mute more sounds. You might even want high contrast fonts is actually a good one. Um, I will say this gesture can be a little tricky to master, but you can see here if I swipe up, now it gives me the, the option of mute all sounds or high contrast fonts because I have those two different shortcuts. Now high contrast fonts, if you've never seen this, it just makes the fonts bolder, which is kind of a really cool thing. And if you do have a vision problem or you just want to see something a little bit better, it is a nice feature to turn on for sure. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. It's a very cool menu that gives you some extra functionality. I think using it as a mute switch is probably the most universally compelling use case for people. But I also think those other ones I mentioned are pretty good options as well. Let me know if you guys use it, if you would use it, et cetera. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Check out SammyGuru.com and the mystery boxes as well if you're interested. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.